Hi guys, so today we're going to demonstrate load control with our uh, water brake setup. Uh, water brakes are quite tricky to control with a PID regulator. They, are, they tend to be unstable sometimes, uh, a little bit depending on the, the brake and the engine that you're testing. So we have made a new load uh, control which is uh, not using a PID regulator. It's using something completely different. I'm going to try to explain how it works by, by doing some, some tests for you. All right, so we go and we we go into the um, the brake uh, the brake setup, and here we have a tab now called the load control. And um, I'm gonna just do the start condition first. That will show you how the regulator works. So here I put that we wait ten seconds. This is of course more than you need, really. So we, and we're gonna stop before those ten seconds are over. It's just for you to see the the regulator in action. So we have a start brake at 1500. So that's when the brake starts to 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 be applied. And then we say we're going to have a gain of 50. So for each thousand RPMs uh, that uh, we get that we increase over this 1500, the brake will increase by 50. So at say 2500 RPM, the brake will be at 50. At 3500 RPM, the brake will be at 100. Right, so it goes like that. So I'm just going to show you that first, and then we're going to put the gain at 100, and we'll see how that works. All right, let's try this one first. Yep. yep. Alright, so what you saw here was that the engine went up to about 2500 RPMs. There, the, the brake and the gain, and the brake and the torque of the engine balanced. And um, you can see this means that uh, since this was about 2500 RPM, the, the brake would have been at around 50 because 2500 is about 1000 RPM more than 50. Okay, so let's now try to see where it uh, balances out. At uh, if the gain is a hundred, so let's see if uh, that is. Uh, uh, it should be probably about two thousand RPM. Let's see. All right. Very good. So now you saw what happened, right? And, and this, this illustrates how this, this brake controller works. So for every thousand RPM that you increase over this start RPM, the brake goes on with this amount. So right? Uh, this means it stabilized in this case at about uh, 2000 RPM, which was about 50% brake. Or about 2500 RPM, which also was about 50% brake, but then when the gain was, was, was 50, right? Okay, so let's do a run now, and we'll do a weight of a say five. We can start with with a uh, hundred. That's okay. And now we will do another thing, which is we will click this one, which regulates that start RPM. Let me explain you this start RPM. So you have the, so the start RPM. If you call that now reference RPM, makes it a little bit easier to understand. So in the beginning, you have a start RPM, fifteen hundred brake goes on linearly from 1500 um, by the gain, okay? As I explained. What happens if we click this uh, button here is that the start RPM or reference RPM will be reduced gradually until the actual RPM is 1500. Mm -hmm. What happens in the sweep is the opposite. The reference RPM is swept gradually uh, uh, higher and higher and higher so that regulation which is uh, then the distance between the reference RPM and the actual RPM sets the brake and uh, and if the engine sort of uh, runs off and goes too fast the brake will break more because the brake is dependent upon the distance between the actual RPM and the reference RPM okay it's a little bit little bit uh, difficult to understand but let, let me show you how it works we'll turn on that regulator Speed is one that you can you can you can experiment what is what is best. One is probably okay. We take a say the sweep rate of 150 and we stop the sweep at 3,800. 
gain we set here, the gain to 50 for the for the sweep, we can have a start gain which is higher. Uh, if you have a, in the sweep, there will typically be oscillations if the gain is uh, is too high. So 50, you can try that. On one of our uh, drag race engines, we need to reduce to something like 25, 28, something like that. So it depends on your engine. All right, let's do this uh, sweep now and uh, see how that goes. That was pretty sweet, wasn't it? Okay, here is the, here is the result. It looks pretty nice. We can also look at the result versus time, and uh, typically what we want to see, a nice clean RPM curve, right? So here it is. So this is the RPM versus time. Notice that it's not completely straight, which is fine. It's completely fine. A, a, a PID regulator would really try to make it completely straight, and that's one of the, of the reasons why they sometimes are unstable because you can see it slightly goes up here. At, at this load regulator is completely okay with the fact that RPM is a little bit too high. Automatically then the brake is a little bit higher, it's, uh, so it's self-regulating. While a PID knows that it should actually be down here because it should be straight, so it will try to brake more and if it brakes too much then it goes into oscillations like that. So this is one of the reasons why this regulator is, is more uh, it's much stable but all in all uh, uh, very very nice curve and no oscillations whatsoever in this um, in this run here yeah. Yeah. We see the, um, the engine managed to build up much more um, more power, right? Because we were so slow, and this is a slow old engine, so the turbo pressure really built up here, right? While uh, up here, it was the same for, for both runs. Pretty interesting, actually, huh? Okay, let's do another one, which is much faster, just to see how that works. This was, now we were running at 50. 50 rpm per um, sorry 50 rpm per second which is uh, of course very slow uh, let's try one at uh, 300 300 that's gonna be really fast okay here we go And you can see here the engine didn't manage that's this one 
So you see the engine didn't manage to build up enough uh, uh, pressure, although it catched up here at the end, got up here. Let me take a look at the map uh, we have mapped up. We have connected a map sensor. So here you see really the, the reason, right? So here, this, this is the, the, the pressure versus RPM. And the, the slow run, as you can see, has much higher uh, pressure in the, in the mid range, especially in the mid range, than, than the, the very fast run. It cannot keep up. So this, this turbo is, uh, I don't know if something is wrong with it, or it's supposed to be like that. It's a very old engine. So this, um, this is very slow to speed up. So, but this, this is clearly the reason why there is uh, such a difference between the three runs. But uh, super sweet um, uh, sweep, sweet sweep, yeah, in, in all cases here. Look at that. So here are the difference. This is RPM versus time uh, for the different sweeps. Very, very steady for, for all of them. And the only thing we changed now was the sweep itself, the sweep time itself. So no change in PID parameters like we sometimes need to do. All right, so that's a pretty nice setup now, this load control. Hope you like it.